Well, thank you so much for joining us today for our monthly chat about what's going on up at Beacon Hill. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is something we've been talking about many times when you've been in the studio is the home rule. I believe it's 3953. 3953. Uh, finally, um, we got it through the legislative process, which is arduous at, at, at best. Um, 3953 was a home rule petition that went through the council session, um, started in the Roads Committee, um, back when I was actually the chairman of the Roads Committee, um, was passed through the Roads Committee, went to the full council for a vote there, and it was approved it there, then went to the budget process. Um, 3953 is kind of a uh, expansion of um, a bill that we sent up as a home rule petition in 2014 with regard to using private uh, public money for the, um, the maintenance of private roads. Um, that piece of legislation in 2014 said that that money could only be used for the actual physical construction. Um, whatever you need, the asphalt and the trucks and all of that sort of stuff to actually physically maintain the road. What um, House Bill 39, um, 33, 3593 asked for was to expand that a little bit to say you could also use the money for planning, engineering, and design. So that has gone through the, through the House process, um, went through the committees, um, and uh, was passed in the House, passed in the Senate. Uh, engrossed in the House, engrossed in the Senate, and uh, last week went to the governor's desk to sign, and uh, last Thursday he signed it into law, so now the town of Barnstable can use the money now for, for engineering and design for uh, any private road that it decides to maintain. Wonderful, and that kind of completes that whole, you know, from start to, f to finish, the town can now make sure that that road is, whatever road it is, that whatever private road it is, they can, they can do everything from beginning to end using those private funds. Right. Um, I, I mean, public funds for private roads. <laughs> it doesn't mean that every, every single private road right. is, going to, is going to be repaired, but generally will allow the town to what it has been doing now for the last four years is to, is to pick up the maintenance on certain roads that are considered connector roads, mm -hmm. uh, very important roads, maybe a road that connects one part of the town to another, yeah. or maybe the town to another town, um, Mashpee Wakeby Road out in um, out in Katuit, Santuit, of that area which connects into into Mashpee, mm -hmm. um, and and roads that connect into other parts um, of the town, north to south, east to west. Um, that are considered, you know, very, very important roadways, mm -hmm. the town will now be able to use that money from start to finish to be able to engineer any changes they want to make on it and actually do the physical work. Wonderful. It's an it's a interesting and arduous process, but happy that it was able to go through. Um, next thing we want to talk about is it's budget season, which is always, you know, everybody's working on their budgets, and you have some budget asks that you put in for this year. Uh, what can you tell me about what some of your asks were? Yeah, so this year was a brand new situation in that we have a new, um, the House has a brand new um, Ways and Means Committee chair, uh, Chairman Sanchez, who has taken over from Chairman Dempsey, who left the legislature. Um, so it was a whole new kind of process. None of us had actually ever met with him before, so we weren't really sure exactly how the procedure was going to, going to be. Um, so it was, a, it, was an, it was an opportunity for me to get to know um, Chairman Sanchez a little bit better. And um, some of the things that, that I asked for for the town and um, with regard to some, some earmarks that we'd like to be able to see get, imp get put into the budget, $120,000 for the um, renovation project at the Kennedy Memorial out there next to uh, Veterans Beach. Uh, that, I believe, was constructed back in... I believe 1967, um, and it's obviously it's you know it's it, it's been renovated and and uh, kept up, but now there's a, you know there's a million dollar process going on to to do a lot more work on that. It needs it, um, and uh, so the hundred twenty thousand dollars is going to go basically for uh, for paving, um, fixing the benches and that sort of stuff, whatever. Um, the wall restoration. So it, it's part of the one million dollar project. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of the things that we're going to be looking at. And for the people who come here in the summertime, it's part of the JFK Legacy Trail. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people go there as part of, as, as one of the visits along the Legacy Trail. And as we all know JFK has a huge 
you know, impact here in the town of Barnstable. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most popular landmarks in town. Anytime when the weather's nice, no matter what the time of year is, there's always people there. So it's it's important yeah. for the town to, you know, spruce that up and keep it in a, in a well in a good in a good state so that our, all the visitors uh, can enjoy it. So that's that's wonderful. I'm glad that's in there. One of the other things was the Cape Cod Rail Trail Phase 4 planning study. Uh, we put in for $50,000 for that um, to look at some um, possible alternative routes, which have to be done. doesn't mean that the alternative route will be used, but MassDOT needs to have alternative routes as part of the planning study, um, just uh, so in case they have to be used. But it's good to have that uh, information in the study, so they ask for alternative routes to be used. Um, so that's... The $50,000 will be um, part of the um, Cape Cod Rail Trail study, and we also asked for $50,000 for some uh, renovation work, repair work out at um, Blish Point out in Barnstable um, because there's, um, you know, doing some repair work. There's always erosion at beaches mm -hmm. and, um, you know, over time things need to get fixed and um, fif hopefully there will be uh, an earmark for $50,000 to be able to, to get some of that work done. Wonderful. It's a, it's a busy location in town for sure. Is there anything else you'd like our viewers to be aware of before I let you go today? Um, just one one of the other things that um, that, I, that I probably don't get a chance to, to say, um, depending on when um, um, these things air, but I always have office hours, mm -hmm. always on the first Friday of every month uh, here in Barnstable from noon to 1.30. I have an office up on the third floor um, next to Lim Poyant's office. And uh, anybody who uh, wants to talk about issues with regard to uh, the town of Barnstable, uh, with respect to things that I can um, work on up at Beacon Hill, uh, they are, they're welcome to come in and talk about those issues. It's again, it's always the first Friday of every month. Um, rain, snow, or whatever, right. uh, <laughs> uh, from 12 to 1.30. And, uh, you know, anyone who wants to come up, uh, be welcome to sit down and talk with them. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for having me. Thanks. My guest today is Will Crocker. He's the state rep in the 2nd Barnstable District.